Hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jay. Today we're checking out the Pereira VST Collector. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a spicy meatball here on the page. <laughs> Look at that, just some sizzle and energy. Just every note, pop, 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 pop. We got ourselves all the way from Belgium. Look at this thing over here and look at this gorgeous little quilt going on over here. I think this is just a stunner to be completely honest with you. Uh, this is the VST Collector from Pareda Guitars. Uh, Pareda, Pareda, Pareda. Diogo Pereira. So uh, when this thing first came into the studio and I picked it up, I immediately realized, you know, as I was looking at it, that there's something a little bit different than in this guitar that I see pretty much in most of these kind of like stratish kind of guitars that come in. And that is when I see like a Strat guitar, you know, I'm seeing really lightweight, porous body woods, maple necks, you know, really going for like uh, just kind of a rounder, full kind of thing. This buddy is just sizzle, like density hot and powerful all over the place. <laughs> And what you're gonna see here is we have ourselves a two-piece ash body. And uh, when I'm saying ash body, I'm not talking about that lightweight ash. This is like that hefty, really dense ash. And you could really feel it, especially on the knee. This is like, you know, a powerful guitar. We have a quilted maple on the top. Again, just adding to this like really nice character here. And then on the back, look at this. We got this nice satin finish, Indian rosewood neck, and then ebony on top of that and just that combination of these like really like dense woods it's leading to a wonderful explosive transient attack <laughs> Oh my gosh, it, it's actually really, really lovely. I just like feeling, it feels like there's just so much energy in every note. And then what is adding to like this like energy that we got here are these pickups and uh, this is what makes it a VST collector and not a standard VST. Uh, the collector has a kind of like a limited kind of thing going on with it and here we have three Seymour Duncan Bonnie pickups. It's like the Bonamassa signature. They're quite light wound and they're not overly powerful but just really really sweet sounding pickups especially in the in-between. Uh, they don't make these pickups anymore, so they got them just for this guitar, and I think just this combination really, really works well. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
tasty, tasty, tasty. From a hardware standpoint, we have Spurzels, uh, we have uh, Goto, and this, by the way, these are the locking Spurzels as well. And a really neat selection here with the pots. We have these really low friction tone pots, which is great for like tonal manipulation and stuff. <laughs> But the volume pot is actually, uh, has a little bit more friction, which is nice. I don't accidentally shift it down. So I have it loose where I want it to be and a little bit more friction where I want it to be a little bit more steady. Just really nice details. Besides that, there's a lot of handmade stuff. Definitely that neck is handmade. You can see it in the, there's some slight tooling marks. You could really see the handmade uh, thing going on over here, as well as even the pick guard that's uh, hand cut. So you can just, it just feels like beautiful kind of stuff. Really solid build. Let's add a little bit of gain. Let's see if that clarity holds up. Uh, we're gonna go into the overdrive channel of the Tone uh, King Imperial. Well, we've heard the clean sounds and the overdriven sounds through the Tone King Imperial. Let's go high gain to close it off. This is a Rev Generator 120 going to a closed back cab. Let's see how this wood and these pickups react to that setup. Here we go. <laughs> And that is the Pareta, oh geez, VST Collectors. Pareta, Fiera. Diogo Pereira. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on this guitar right over here, check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews on Patreon, sponsored by the Patreon supporters, and all my demos and tutorials. All the other stuff I do, it's right here on YouTube. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.